Hey guys, welcome back, and today I want to talk about 3D Touch. Now, there's a group of people that believe that the iPhone will continue to have a pressure-sensitive display, a 3D Touch display on future iPhones, but there's another group of people that believe that 3D Touch is definitely dead. It's gone. Apple will no longer be using the technology moving forward from 2019 and above. Now, I'm on the side where I believe that Apple will be getting rid of 3D Touch on all iPhones starting in 2019. And I'm explaining myself here in this video to show you why I believe Apple has just killed 3D Touch and they've confirmed it pretty much with the latest iOS 13 beta. Now, for those of you that don't know, 3D Touch has been around since the iPhone 6S. Okay, so iPhone 6S, iPhone 7, iPhone 8, 10, iPhone 10s, and 10s Max. Now, the iPhone 10R introduced a technology called Haptic Touch, which is pretty much what we've seen on many other devices, Android devices, which is a long press, which mimics the same actions as 3D Touch, if you will. But 3D Touch, to me, just feels a lot more natural. Just pressure-sensitive display, in my opinion, give you a better feedback when you're invoking these actions. When you 3D touch on settings, the feedback that you get from the Taptic Engine, from the software itself, is more responsive, in my opinion. However, with iOS 13, the latest beta, beta 4, Apple has improved haptic touch, which is a non-pressure sensitive display, to mimic very closely what you would get on a 3D touch display. Now, at the beginning of the videos, I mentioned I believe Apple will be getting rid of 3D touch, and here's why. So if we take a look at this iPhone 10s, we go into accessibilities and then we go to touch. If we go to the 3D touch plus haptic touch menus, this was not here before. This is an iPhone 10s Max, which also has a 3D touch display running beta three. Let's go into accessibilities here, touch accommodations and take a look. It was named 3D touch and that was it. Now Apple has shifted on beta four to call this 3D touch and haptic touch. So why the sudden shift on rebranding 3D Touch on a 3D Touch device to 3D and Haptic Touch, right? So take a look at the description for 3D plus Haptic Touch and then we'll compare that to a Haptic Touch display. It pretty much does the same thing. Take a look at the final portion of the description to reveal content preview, actions and contextual menus. So if we go to a Haptic Touch device and we take a look at the Haptic Touch menus and description to reveal content preview actions and contextual menus so the exact same thing is done on both devices with 3d and haptic touch which means 3d touch at this point is almost redundant right so if we turn off 3d touch we still have these same actions everything works exactly the same nothing has changed by turning off 3d touch so at this point as i mentioned 3D Touch is obsolete on the 3D Touch devices with iOS 13. And that's why I believe Apple has definitely killed 3D Touch with iOS 13, especially with iOS 13 developer beta 4. But I would like to know your thoughts on the comments down below. Do you prefer a 3D Touch device or a haptic touch device? Does it really matter to you? Do you even use this feature on your iPhone? I'd like to know your thoughts in those comments down below. And what do you believe Apple will continue using this technology? Or do you agree? Do you believe Apple will be getting rid of this technology according to some of this information provided in today's video? I want to thank you guys for watching today's video, guys. Thank you. Have a great day. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.